Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's popping? Dumelang, good guy. Um, today's video is gonna be on five things I will miss about Botswana. And this video is probably going to be linked to my previous video i mentioned that i went to Botswana last year 2019 and there's a high possibility that i'm going to be mentioning things i experienced while i was there so number one i will miss the slow internet service okay um when i went to Busan last year the first thing that i did was get a new phone number obviously uh because i was using the uk number i got an uh, orange number and i had to top up my phone and get a new number and also get internet but what i didn't know was how it worked because i'm used to using wi-fi here in the uk at home we have wi-fi and i don't use data like that okay so I got there and they're like, you need to get credit and buy data for a certain time and certain price. So I topped up with like 200 Bula on my phone and I, I bought um, data for seven days and it cost about I even not remember. I can't even remember how much it costs. Um, and one, but one thing I'll tell you is it did last me seven days because I didn't know that video calls and just basic video finishes your data so quick. So it took me maybe four days, and then I got a notification saying, "Oh, your data is." uh low oh uh, what my data is low i just topped up data for seven days and you're telling me my data is low i, I couldn't understand that um but that's one thing i will miss about Mozana, the whole internet service okay i live on my wi-fi in the uk and there's no data problem it's so fast it's so quick everything's quick but once i got to Mozilla and got this whole new internet internet service it was just like greek however it worked and it was expensive like it was hell expensive um number two oh god my country's service is slow Mozilla service is slow Everything it was on is slow. Like transport is slow. Going to work and going to the bank and ask for a basic co customer service is slow. Everything it was on is slow. I'm so used to fast service like in the UK if you go to the bank there's self checkout or self uh self help or you go to the customer service and they're really fast with it like everything is so slow it's like they keep dragging the feet that's so slow i keep wondering are you guys tired what is going on why are you so slow i went to the bank while i went while well, still in Mozana at the time and I waited for probably an hour an hour do you know how, how long an hour is 
sitting down waiting to be helped like <gasps> service the public service is so poor i feel like they need to improve in in that area it's so bad everything's slow everything okay it's slow um number three prices of food clothing everything well almost everything is expensive from my previous video you will see that i mentioned that a water bottle is 13 pula to me at the time it was expensive they didn't put up for a small water bottle is nuts to me but if i convert it into pounds it's nothing so i didn't convert the price into pounds i just said this is 13 pula that is a lot for a small water bottle like simple things food is expensive it's so hard to get food in Brazil. gas is expensive like prices are so high and most of the population in Brazil have no jobs so imagine not having a job and having to buy food gas water for, with what exactly when everything is expensive that's one thing I won't miss about Brazil is the prices of food gas water and I don't like this whole system of buying um, electricity for a certain period of time while I was in Bazana about th before I came to the UK you pay the oh, I can't say this word electricity that's it for it was like a monthly on a monthly basis but now you have to pay a certain amount for a certain period of time for your power Mm, that's new to me. Uh, number, think, four. Number four, I will miss. Well, I will miss being home, but I will miss not having the freedom of just going wherever I want. Because I don't know anything about what's happening anymore everything has changed so i will miss having the free like i have freedom here in the uk to just get a cab or a bus to go to town and shop whatever i want to do but in Brazil, i won't have that freedom because i don't know where things are anymore do you know what i mean the freedom is gone um and then number five i think this is the last one um, I won't miss, mm, this is a hard one, I won't miss how populated it is at the pump, uh, public transport, like, for example, when I went to drop my grandmother, at the bus stop or, or bus station whatever you call it it's so you couldn't you can't even see where you go you you can't even know which bus takes you where okay because it's not in order everything is messy is i can't even explain how messy that how bus stations are in the UK, we have bus stations where you take a bus to London, then you can get the bus or a train to Reading. Like these stations where you go to go to a certain place. But in Botswana, that bus station is cramped, is messy, is full of people. There's no direction, nothing. So you can go missing. You can't even see which bus you're taking 
to go to Sibina or Frasistan or Kaprono, depending on where your destination is. Like, you had to be 100% aware of where you're going because you can miss your bus just in a split of a second because it's so messy. It's all over the place. There's no directions, no preparation. It's just survival mode at the bus station. There's no help. You can't even ask for help for direction to go to which bus you, you want to take. There's nothing like that. It's so foreign for me now. I'm so used to having a certain bus station where you sit and wait for your bus because I take, well, where I live right now, we have a certain two different bus stations, one on the left, one on the right, wherever you go. So if you want to go to town, for example, you, you go to the bus station near your house, you sit there for maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes, depending on how, when your bus comes. So I take a bus number of eight to go to town and it's so quick, but in, in Bozana, there's no time. You can't even, you don't even know when your bus comes. Like I'm, psh, ooh, never, never. It's just all over the place, it's so messy. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and share. And that's it, really. Thanks for watching. Peace.